hello again of course with me um as i said uh match day round of match day two has been completed and uh, we are actually now in the last phase of the group stages um for the fifa world cup 2018 and since then a lot of matches that have been going on um uh, talking about uh, a lot of surprising result as well um, so let's talk about um, first in the group A we had Russia beating um, Russia beating uh, Egypt 3-1 which uh, makes them automatically the first team to uh, qualify for the round of 16 Portugal beat Morocco 1-0 I think in that game Morocco deserve a win because they played really well Defended really well. Ronaldo scoring the early goal, and the rest of the time, Portugal were just they were just parking the bus. And Morocco had so many chances, which I pretty much you know they have to score at least one goal a lot in front of the box, and they wasted a lot of chance. So Morocco, you know, uh, you have you play well and you need to score. I think they have a problem in scoring goals. So yeah, one nil. Uruguay and Saudi Arabia also early mistake for Saudi Arabia and you know also same problem They didn't really control the game, but also Uruguay played, you know, not really the most entertaining football But they win the game. I think Uruguay's play is, you know, as long as you win the game, you're all right So three points Uruguay and Russia uh, go on to the to the knockout stages So we go on to, you know, uh, Iran and Spain uh, was another group, uh, another match, which was really, um, you know, tough group for Iran, tough group for Spain. Um, Iran had a, a disallowed goal, uh, uh, but of course Diego Costa scoring uh, a deflection goal really was another cagey game. I think um, Portugal and Spain, um, after their 3-3 match, I think the second round shows that how good and Iran and Morocco were, uh, because this two great nations you know winners of the uh, holders of the european uh the euros euro winners portugal and you know uh 2010 uh world cup champions had a problem scoring against them so a very tough match denmark and australia australia finally having a deserving point they should have uh, they should have at least draw against france but you know at least a point for them uh, they held, you know, Denmark scored a very good goal from Ericsson. Um, I'm not really sure about whether they have a chance to go through, but um, I think, uh, you know, it's all to play for between Denmark, Australia and Peru. Uh, France, um, sorry, Denmark and Australia. Peru are out after two, two defeats. And um, we talk about you know, France. Think, um, well, <laughs> when you talk about France, I think um, they have been playing well, but not entertaining football as, as you might expect from them. Um, but anyhow, they had a 1 0 victory. Over Peru, um, still I would say a respectable uh, performance. Uh, Peru had so many chances, and the Peruvian fans, you know, they were, they, you know, packed the stadium really. Um, but you know, they they didn't have luck. So France go through uh, third team to go through after Russia and Uruguay. So the first, um, you know, favourites, I would say, to go to the round of 16. Now this game, Argentina, Croatia, my word, my word, what happened to Argentina? The first game, I thought, you know what, maybe they have a chance against Croatia. Maybe they, you know, have, a, have just woke up. But Argentina is still sleeping on and they are just not sleeping. They, I think it's all over for them. I mean, although they have one point at this stage you have to you know you have to pretty much uh 
it, it you, you can't be world champions and have a defeat 3-0 in the group stages. I mean, it's match day two and, you know, they're not improving. Um, team management is, is everything. Is, you know, Sampioli is not doing very well. Messi uh, is, you know, have not having support. His teammates, you know, I really think um, this Argentinian side is much... It it, it 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 is it's all over for them. I think now. I think uh, nah. I don't think they. I don't see them coming back. Nigeria won against Iceland two nil. That means they have to win against Nigeria. I don't think that even that is an easy easy task for them. And they have to hope that uh, Croatia beat Iceland, which also um, you know I think if you're a champion material, you don't really need to have you know. A very much, uh, you know, you, you have to be at least secure your, you know, pro progress on match day two. But this defeat just tells you, you know, Argentina is game over for them, I think. Brazil had a very, had to wait very last minute to score two goals, uh, Coutinho and Neymar. I watched the game and Brazil deservingly, you know, have to win and they deservingly did uh, have a three points. Um, they attacked the whole game. Costa Rica defense was just too too strong. They were too amazing. Uh, Brazil did everything and a lot of wasted chance actually. But at the end of the day, luck was on their side. Two 0 for Brazil. That means they have a good uh, no, not not uh, a confirmed progression, but uh, it's better than draw. So you know at least uh, you know Brazil are doing quite okay in in Russia compared to their rivals uh, Argentina, which are not doing well at all. Uh, Nigeria beat Iceland 2-0. Argentina uh, hope that this should be a draw. Um, but you know what? If you're a team that is going to hope other teams don't do well for uh, and of course you uh, for you to progress, you're just not at the standard of becoming a, a world champion. And I think um, you know Argentina, a Messi maybe it, it is the end. I don't know four years from now if he can still play on. But you know. I think it's all over. I mean, Messi is a legend, no doubt about it, but I don't think he will, you know, be the Maradona of Argentina. He had his chance four years ago in Brazil when Argentina went to the finals, but, you know, that's football. You have one chance and you have to make it full advantage. Serbia losing to Switzerland. I was quite surprised. So I thought it was maybe going to be Serbia for a victory, but Switzerland, uh, it also means that... Um, you know, all to play for Switzerland, Brazil, and Serbia in the last match day three for the group. Uh, Belgium, wow, five two victory against Tunisia. I know, I, I I really thought that you know Belgium were one of the teams that were not really favourites, but you know they had a lot of quality, and you know one that I think Belgium have a good chance to win this World Cup, not because of yes against Panama, Tunisia. You might say you know they're not the best team to test Belgium. But, you know, uh, if you can score five, four goals against teams like that, uh, it means that you have no scoring problem like what Argentina had. Argentina did not, they just can't score against uh, Iceland. And same goes to Brazil. They really struggled against Costa Rica. So if you need to be champions, um, you need to win comfortably against lower teams. Korea, uh, Mexico had a very good game, uh, also through to, to the next round, so Belgium are through to the next round, um, so a good chance for them. Germany, my word, I mean, last minute victory, uh, you know, yes, I thought Germany would go out, but certainly all to play for again for them, um, really good game against Sweden, last minute free kick from Tony Cruz, the Real Madrid player. So Germany, uh, one thing of course, their mentality is always positive, keep fighting to the end. So who knows, I think against South Korea they have a very good chance to win. So who knows if Germany can win against South Korea and if Mexico wins against Sweden, we're going to see Germany and Brazil might just, you know, unless Brazil finish a second. So all to play for really. Uh, yesterday's game, England and Panama, uh, what can I say? Panama, England, England improved a lot. Uh, under Gareth Southgate um, that Tunisia win people say you know was lucky and I also thought you know maybe England did not but this, of course against Panama 
a uh, team that you really want to score. So again, Harry Kane, top leading scorer, good goal. Um, looking strong, England, England and Belgium looking really strong. Um, Japan and Senegal, 2-2 two -two draw. Um, well, I think it was a very equal game. Uh, so each champion, each champion, uh, each winner of the previous game have uh, one point. So all to play for. And Colombia as well. Poland are out. I think one of the first European teams out of this uh, World Cup after three nil against Colombia. I think Colombia finally got their got their track back, got their game play back after that really weird defeat against Japan. But uh, I think now Senegal have a much more harder. I think Japan and Poland, you know, bet both teams have uh, harder games ahead. So Japan need to win against Europe, European side, and Senegal needs to win against Colombia. So I think. Uh, with their confidence in hand. I think Japan uh, and Senegal had a lot of mistakes. Uh, two, two each goals, and it should be 1-1, one, one, but each team made a mistake. So, you know, again, it will be interesting looking forward to go to the next round. And uh, that's it, I think. Um, uh, we'll be updating you for the last round um, of, the, of the game. Today will be Uruguay, Russia, Saudi Arabia and Egypt. And you know the last interesting uh, game. So uh, see you all uh, next time.